show you how now to strip and tin a piece of work. The equipment that you're going to need, goggles for safety, some solder cleaner, a holder for your components, wire strippers and wire cutters. First thing I'm going to do, I'm going to take around about 15 to 20 centimetres worth of black wire and the same with the red wire, so about 15 to 20 centimetres of that, using my wire cutters to cut it to the correct size. The next thing I'm going to use is my wire strippers, and when I squeeze these together, there's a little notch, a little opening. What I'm trying to do is take around about one centimetre's worth of insulation from this wire. So I squeeze the wire strippers around it, and I pull off very quickly. And what it's done, it's stripped off around about a centimetre's worth of insulation. So this is called multi-core wire. The reason it's called multi-core is because of all the different strands of wire coming out. Next thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to twist all those strands of wire together so it's nice and neat. Then I'm going to get my component holder and just put my wire into it. The next stage is to get my soldering iron very hot these, so I don't want to be touching any of the metal parts and I'm going to clean the tip of it. At the minute it's quite a dull tip, what I need that tip to be is nice and shiny. So I'm just going to clean that tip in the solder cleaner so it's now nice and shiny. I'm then going to get my solder, so this very special wire that's got a very low melting point, and I'm just going to put a little bit of solder onto the end of the tip, just so it lets off some smoke. The next thing I'm going to do is the tinning process. So it's a bit like making a sandwich. I've got the solder and iron as one slice of bread, I've got the solder as another slice of bread, and I've got the wire as my filling. All I'm going to do is brush my wire, sorry, my solder and my solder iron up and down it two or three times. So what I've done is actually coat that with a layer of solder. The way I check to make sure I've done it correctly is before I could put all those strands of wire apart, now I can't. Notice when I've done this, it's a little bit too long. If it's too long, so I'm looking for about a centimetre, just get my wire cutters and cut off until it's done. That is the stripping and tinning process finished.